Now I'd like to take a few moments to talk about Ananya Panangi, who is the organizer of this whole event. As I said earlier, she's a 10th grader that attends the Imagine International Academy here in McKinney, Texas. And Ananya is a wonderful young lady. She has so much passion for service and volunteering. We all know someone who has been affected by cancer. And for Ananya, the topic of cancer is a very personal, personal topic. That's why she organized this event. And that's why you can tell by her passion that it is very close to her heart. I personally would like to thank you all for coming out here and supporting Ananya and showing her that she can make more of these events and it'll actually serve a purpose and she's doing well. This is very dear to her and I hope because of all your support that it'll show her that this is the first of many. Please welcome Ananya. Thank you, Varanana. And thank you all for coming today. Okay. And as you're all are are aware, um, I'm doing this because cancer has been a part of my family for years. And so the goal of this program is to raise awareness about the importance of timely cancer screenings. And I'm partnering with TIPS, Texas Indo-American Physician Society, to convey this message. And GDAS, I'm also raising funds for the GDAS Cancer Clinic, Greater Dallas Aries Maj Cancer Clinic. Um, who provide free cancer treatments for those without health insurance. I've visited the clinic and have personally seen the passion with which they serve the community. And now I'd like to invite Dr. Hima Reddy, president of TIPS, to give a presentation on the importance of cancer screenings. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all for coming here uh, uh, to support Ananya. Ananya, we are very proud of you. I'm Dr. Hima Reddy. I'm a rheumatologist by profession, and I am the president of uh, Texas Indo-American Physician Society. And uh, uh, the presentation will be given by my oncologist uh, friend, Vice President, Dr. Karen Kancharla. That's so just a little disclaimer before I start off. But uh, thank you for giving us this opportunity. Texas Indo-American Physician Society is a, a part of this Indian community for about last 35 years. We run free charity clinics and we have done several health fairs and we pick a topic that we try to create public awareness. Last two years we have been uh, trying to create awareness about early cancer detection and uh, cancer screening programs. And we have also been proud to pr sponsor and uh, partner with the Greater Dallas Arya Samaj uh, Cancer Clinic. So uh, we, are, uh, the, uh, we are proud to be part of this organization as it echoes with our mission and our uh, partners in providing cancer care. With uh, no further ado, I would like to introduce Dr. Kiran Kancharla, our Vice President, who is an oncologist. She will give you all the updates on cancer screening. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for the organization for giving us this opportunity to share some um, important message among our community members. Um, as Hima already gave the outline, uh, TIPS is a charity, I mean, it's a Texas Indoor Physician Society, and we do several charity uh, events. And our goal for this year was to raise uh, cancer awareness, which very much echoes what Ananya is doing today. So I'm so proud that Ananya is uh, taken a big responsibility of passing this information. So I don't want to take too much time. Uh, we are having a very interesting program. I would like to just share a few things, uh, which is very important to everyone, but we tend to um, um, ignore in day-to-day -day life. So a um, few slides about the cancer prevention and screening. So the cancer, according to cancer statistics, cancer is the leading cause uh, of the major public health problem. As we all know, uh, one in four deaths are related to cancer. And among all the cancers, lung cancer is unfortunately a major cause of the, all the cancers. Though we diagnosed more patients with breast cancer, but fortunately, because many of them get diagnosed in early stages, people don't die from breast cancer and lung cancer is still remains the, the leading cause of the cancer death. So this is just a slide uh, showing the projection. About 200,000, uh, about every year we diagnose about 200,000 people with lung cancer, and you see the statistics, majority of them die from that. So lung is almost, it out, you know, it kind of uh, um, more than combined colon, prostate, and breast. 
And most of our cancers can be preventable if we are all well-educated and if we all take care of ourselves. So one third of cancer deaths are related to the diet and physical activity. And one third of our cancer deaths are related to smoking, which is uh, very, very notorious to cause a lung cancer. And uh, obesity is again a major uh, health problem which can also cause increased risk of cancer. So this is a slide just projecting how excess body weight and uh, poor nutrition and no physical activity can cause one in three cancer deaths. That number is really high. One in three cancer deaths can be caused just by not taking care of ourselves. Cigarette smoking remains the major killer. It has caused so many health problems, including the cancer. I mean, majority of them is the head and neck cancer, lung cancer, esophageal cancers. So it has more than at least 100 known chemicals, which can all are known to be carcinogenic, which causes the cancer. So this is the uh, amount of money that we all end up spending. This is the, uh, in 2000 to 2004, in US, if you can compare to the other uh, countries, we spend so much money uh, with the cancer-related illness. And this is how our lung looks. That's the normal lung on the right side, and that's the lung with the smoking. So there are a few guidelines which the American Cancer Society has put together and which are very, very, very easy to follow for each one of us. And um, the most important one is to maintain an ideal body weight as lean as possible with a BMI less than 25 and get at least 75 minutes of vigorous activity uh, in a week or at least 150 minutes of moderate activity and limit the sedentary lifestyle and limit taking the processed food, which is again, it's very, very, um, I know, we all don't realize how much we are getting in, but that's a big killer too. And try to eat more fruits and vegetables. So uh, these are again, just to um, the, you know, how we have to um, be careful about avoiding the processed food. This is just the slides. When we say 75 minutes of vigorous activity, we are talking about running, jogging, those kind of things. And uh, walking and just, you know, a simple walk can also be as good as uh, vigorous activity. And again, this is just the slide so that people, you know, the pictures can speak so much. So this is a slide just projecting the importance of activity and not limiting the TV time and playing video games, etc. And again, the same thing, the portion size and eating the fruits and vegetables, the lean body, uh, the lean protein, et cetera, is a picture again projecting that. Uh, similar slide, next one. So this is another uh, important message I would like to pass. We all think that eating, drinking orange juice, et cetera, is very good for us. But unfortunately, uh, this is the amount of sugar we can see in a, cup of, in a glass of orange juice or in a bottle of orange juice. Same thing with the cone, I mean the Coke. We always, you know, we don't even blink when we are drinking Coke, but this is how we get so much processed sugar with the Coke. So um, we have some screening guidelines. I'm not going to take too much time, but on your way out, please uh, pick up the uh, bookmarks that we have um, on the front, uh, front desk, which tells us what all are the important screening guidelines each one of us should follow. And there are some T-shirts, and if you could pick up some T-shirts too, uh, that would be good. So uh, breast screening, again, we all know the breast cancer, one in eight women are at risk of having breast cancer, but it is very easy for us to follow a few baseline basic rules so that we can prevent or we can uh, almost cure the breast cancer. So yearly mammogram starting at age 40 is important for all the breast cancer screening. And this is um, colonoscopy, uh, which is for the colon cancer. Uh, starting at age 50, everybody needs to get at least one colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is better than other things, but there are other uh, potential screening uh, things that you can discuss with your physicians if people don't want to go to the uh, laborious way of going to the uh, colonoscopy, because the PrEP is what kind of puts a lot of people, um, they don't do the colonoscopy. 
Um, so this is a perfect example when the colon cancer can be diagnosed in early stages, like stage zero or one or even two, 99% we can cure those cancers. But unfortunately, if we make delay and we diagnose at stage four, we cannot cure those cancers. Uh, this is just a simple uh, colonoscopy, how the, how the procedure is done, uh, to just to have an idea about it. And uh, lung cancer screening is also now available for the people who are at high risk. Uh, mainly, uh, it goes by how many pack year of smoking uh, they have done. So typically, uh, chest x-ray is not a good test, but the uh, spiral CT is now FDA approved. And people who have more than 30 pack year of smoking can do a spiral CT. And you need to talk to this about your doctors. So um, this is uh, for about people who are about 50 to 75 years with a 30-pack year of smoking. They can qualify to get the spiral CT. So this is just a few next slides. We'll just show how the lung cancer can look on a simple chest X-ray. And this is what the spiral CT can pick up. And this is the PET scan, which is actually, we use that in a lot of our cancer staging process. And that picks up like a hot spot. And cervical cancer is also another important tool for all the women. Uh, they need to get the pap test at least every three years uh, to kind of help with this diagnosis. So that's end of my slides. Hopefully um, I could pass on some take home messages so that people can be more vigilant about their health screening and prevention. Thank you again for uh, giving this opportunity to uh, share this information.